Alright guys, let's get started here. So everybody, welcome to this week's Pokemon TCG opening. We have a couple GX boxes for you guys this week. That are gonna do battle and see who has got some good cards in their booster packs. So the first GX box that we're gonna open This one right here, the Umbreon GX Premium Collection. It's got, of course, Umbreon in here. It's also Espeon. And of course, you can't forget Eevee. You can never forget Eevee. Uh, it's got some booster packs, some variety sets. It's got, it's got the Umbreon coin. And a nice little pin. And the other GX box that we're going to open up today is this one the Incineroar GX Premium Collection. Of course, of course, it has Incineroar. It also has Litten and Torcat, its two previous evolutions. Has nice, beautiful foil cards. It's got an Incineroar coin, Incineroar pin, and it's also got some booster packs as well. So yes, let's see, let's see how well Incineroar and Ombudon do smash. Because after all, Incineroar is in the latest Smash game. Let's pop, let's pop the Umbreon box open first. Very carefully take out the Cards, uh oh. I don't think this one has tabs. Oh, it does, right on the side. Oh, stupid tabs. Don't like tabs because they kind of wreck the cards if you're not careful. So, yeah, there's the Umbreon coin. Nice and shiny. There's the Umbreon. There's the Umbreon pin. It's kind of hard to focus in on right now. There we go. It's the Umbreon pin. There's the giant Umbreon GX card. Which is a Black Star promo. <laughs> Should mention that. It is a Black Star promo. Alright, let's see. So we got two Guardians Rising. We have a Sun and Moon base set. Steam Siege. Breakthrough. And Evolutions. And of course, a Co Kart. There you go, guys. Enjoy your Umbreon GX and other goodies. Alright, there is... There is, if we can zoom in, there is Espeon GX. The exact same card that is from the Sun and Moon Beast set. There, for those of you who want to know what it does, it has Psy Beam for 30 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused. It has Psychic. 
where, where the attack does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. On top of the 60 damage it already does. And then GX move Divide is for 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. So that is Aspion GX. I don't know, we'll put it. Let's we'll put it over here. And then here is Eevee, also from the Sun and Moon base set. That is a Cosmos Hollow version of what would normally just be a common card from that set. I do like the Cosmos Hollow, though. Looks pretty. And of course, last but not least, we have our Black Star promo card, Umbreon GX. Get a nice good shot of it right there. Alright, so Ombreon GX with Strafe for 30 damage. You may switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. And a Shadow Bullet for 90 damage. The attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And then GX move Dark Call, which is to discard two energy from your opponent's Pokemon. So that is, that is Umbreon GX. Alright, so yeah, here's all the different booster packs. Or how am I going to order these? Let's go... Let's go Steam Siege at the front. Since, you know, we've opened up a lot of Steam Siege. Then we'll go Breakthrough, Revolution, and we'll basically Grey's Rising at the end. Alright. Hopefully I got enough room here. Alright, let's open up Incineroar Box. A little tougher. Ugh. All right. Okay. There it's one card. That is like really bent, probably because of the foil. Another card. Alright, there's the shiny looking Incineroar coin. All nice and red. Because it is ready to smash. <laughs> and then there is the cool little Incineroar pin. Okay, it might be a little hard to focus. There we go. There's Incineroar right there. There's the giant. Incineroar GX Full Art. That is a Black Star promo. And not in the Sun and Moon B set. Like it could have been, but that's kind of what Pokemon likes to do. 
with some of their full arts and even some secrets is that they'll release them instead of in their respective set they'll release them as promo cards and guys might have just seen it go already but if you didn't, here you go guys Enjoy your Incineroar GX and other goodies. So yeah, scene packs as the other box. All right, so here is Litten. It's a Cosmos Hollow version of the Column card from Sun and Moon Base Set. Get pretty cute. Nice little cute little kitty cat. We'll put the we'll put the kitty cat. Yeah, we'll put him like right there. And here is Tora Cat. Their Cosmos Hollow card. This time of the uncommon card from Sun and Moon base set. Again, really liking that Cosmos Hollow. Looks pretty. But next to Litten. And then last but not least, our Incineroar. GX full art that would have been in Sun and Moon base set if not released as a Black Star promo card otherwise. So yeah, Incineroar GX with Hustling Strike. This attack does 20 more damage for each of your benched Fire Pokemon, top of the 10 it already does. It has Tiger Swing. Flip two coins, this attack does 50 more damage for each heads. Top of the 80 it already does. And then it's GX move, Burning Slam for 200 damage. And your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. So that is Incineroar GX. Nice bright red. Alright. So yes, they each got the packs. Gonna do battle. See who's got the better box this week. Meanwhile, we have a bunch of other packs because you can't open just 12. So we got more Breakthrough, Steam Siege, Evolutions, so here, Sign of the Beast, and of course, Guardians Rising. So, yes. Keeping up with the theme of 36 packs, or, you know, little booster box, but of a variety of different sets. So, alright. I'll put, I'll put the packs sort of off to the side here. Hopefully you guys can still kind of see them. <laughs> Gonna do a one big pile. Hey guys, okay, yeah, you guys can kind of still see that. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. I kind of need this area right here to place all the the goodies. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's crack open some packs here. I'm going to start with Steam Siege. 
you know, every box seems to have Steam Siege packs, even right now in 2019. So we'll crack these open up first to get them over with. was so nice last time I opened up Steam Siege packs to finally get that Secret of Volcano EX, so... Eh, whatever I get. Whatever the goodies I get, I'll take from Steam Siege. Ooh, hey, we got a pair of greedy dice in the first pack. Hello? If you're feeling the greed, a pair of greedy dice is for you. And our first one is a Cerdius Hollowware. Alright. Very good start. First pack. First foil card. Awesome. Alright, I can get behind that start. Alright. Not too bad. Alright, next pack here. Man, it's a sign to come. These packs are gonna be... Hopefully, fire. Alright. A, there's a pawn for chess game. Nice. Okay, reverse hollow braviary. Thought that was I thought that was a rare reverse hollow, but no. Just not common. And ooh, an amungus for a non hollow rare. Nice little mushroom that kind of disguises itself as a pokeball. You yeah. know, gotta watch out. You know, don't want to stake that for, you know, a pokeball. Otherwise, uh oh, stuff may happen. Can't believe that this is, you know, very close to the end of April. This year has gone so fast. Like it has not felt like four months has gone by. Ooh, reverse hollow fungus. It's got the little mushroom and a gastrodon. There's Gastrodon, yeah, there's East, East Sea and West Sea on there. Used to be separate cards back in the uh, Diamond and Diamond and Pearl series, which was like 2007-2008, but now they put them together on the same card. This will find we'll start round one of the GX box battle. Whoops. Between Umbreon and Incineroar. Let's see we'll get the first points. Oh there we go. There's a rare reverse hollow. Armaldo. So yeah, there we go. Double rare pack. Gotta love it. And nice! 
Alright, our first ultra rare is a Magirna EX. Awesome. Hey, we'll take that. So there we go, four packs so far. We have our first ultra rare card. All right. That right on top of the pile right there. All right. All right, here we go. Round one of the battle. Let's see. You know what? Because I love evolutions, we're going to have Ombreon go first with its Steam Seeds pack. Let's see. Let's see what Ombreon has for round one of this. GX box battle. Well, it has it has a pony your friends. So it's got a little buddy. Hey, there's Tony Azumaro. Oh cat. Okay, reverse hollow dino. And a weevil. Non hollow rare. So, Amion may have gotten a couple Dirk buddies, but it didn't have much of anything in its Steam Seed pack. Alright, now let's see what Incineroar has in its Steam Siege pack. Hopefully I can open this. There we go. Alright. Last Steam Siege pack. Have a go, guys. See if you can pull anything awesome out of there. Alright, Incineroar, what do you got your pack? Can you do better than non hollow rare? Then take round one. Oh, hey, oh wow, is that a double Mar Monfernal pack? Yes, it is! Alright, it's got a couple Monfernal buddies. And. E. Galventula. Non hollow rare. Well, unfortunately, that is a tie for round one. They both only got non hollow rares in their Steam Siege packs. So, score still 0 0. Alright. Alright, next up is XY Breakthrough. So, so this set, this is the Mewtwo set. With all its different Mewtwo EX cards in it. Hopefully we can pull one of the uh, secret rare Mewtwo cards. That would be pretty awesome. Because I've seen other people pull them in breakthrough packs before. Oh, did I? Hold on, hold on. Did I mess up? I, mess, I, I think I messed up the trick. Okay. I think I messed up the uh, card trick here. So here's a hollow rare Gengar. <laughs> Oops. Gengar looking pretty, pretty creepy. 
in that artwork. All right, whoops, I kind of messed up the uh, card trick. All right, there's, oh, there's a heavy ball for your, uh, for your Snorlax there. So I guess that's, that's all right. Yeah, I don't know how I messed it up. Oh well. And our reverse hollow is a chest pin. Yeah, I don't know how I messed that up. That's weird, but... Oh well, not gonna complain. Still have foil card out of it. Even though I kind of messed up the trick. Oh uh, well. Okay. One, two, three. One, two. Right there. That is, that is the card trick, right? Thought I did that the first first breakthrough pack. I don't know. Hey, let's go Pikachu! Let's go get us some goodies. Okay. Alright, I did not screw up the trick. This time. Reverse Hall of Fisherman. The so next one should be the rare card. And nice, hey! There we go. Okay, a Simiseer non holo rare. I think that's non holo. Yeah, non holo rare. Alright. I didn't screw up the card trick. That's good. get one of the Mewtwo's. Kind of cool. Well, there's one of a few chest pins in this set. Got a magnet. Ooh, the super rod. If you want to catch those, those good fish, that is the rod for you. Reverse of Hollow Teddy Ursa. Got the cute little Teddy. And oh, another hollow rare Gengar. All right. Hey, we'll take that. We'll take a couple foil Gengars. That is fun by me. Two foil cards, three packs, we'll take it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, come on, let's not bend the card now. That would not be good. Alright. Here we go, final pack before we Start round two. The GX box battle. Ooh, parallel city. Oh man, if we can get this in reverse foil, that would be so sick. Cause yeah, th there is a few of these double-sided stadium trail cards, and getting the reverse foil of these. Look awesome. I love the reverse foil of these kind of uh, stadium trainers. There's the Haunter to go with the uh, Gengar. Reverse Hollow Pincer? It's just an uncommon. Reverse Hollow Pincer. And nice! 
Not a full heart. Mega Hound Doom EX. There we go, our first full art. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's go. Man, it, interesting. Interesting artwork with all the all the green sort of around it, but that is actually a really cool art. I like that. Awesome. Alright, Mega Hound Doom EX, what do you do? You have Inferno Fang. You may discard all fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, its attack does 80 more damage. Top of the 80 it already does. Wow. Mega Hound Doom EX Full Art. That looks awesome. Alright, there we go. Get one of the better hits. Definitely anytime you're pulling a full art from pack, you're feeling pretty good right now. Alright. So now, see how round two goes for Incineroar and Umbreon. It's tied 0-0 zero because zero they couldn't get much of anything out of the Steam Siege packs. Amiyama went first last time, so Incineroar drew up first this time. What do you got in your breakthrough pack? Alright, here we go. Well, there's a Chespin. Hope, oh, let's go Pikachu again. Heavy boots. Kind of like the iron boots from Ocarina of Time. What is that? Oh, burning energy. For Incineroar. Reverse Hollow Wobbuffet. Oh, just an uncommon. And, ooh, nice! A Hollow Rare Meloetta. Alright, so. Incineroar getting a little something something out of its breakthrough pack. With a nice beautiful foil card. Awesome. Alright. Put you right on top of the Ginger. Alright, let's see. We'll see what Ambion's got in its breakthrough pack. Can it be a hollow rare? Alright, here we go guys, last breakthrough pack. I have a code. See if you can pull one of the awesome Mewtwo EX cards out of there. Alright, here we go. Ombre on. Can you beat out a hollow rare from Incineroar? Oh, let's see here. Oh, there's a cute little swab blue. There's a fishy. Reverse hollow Mr. Mime. That's a rare reverse hollow. There we go. Got all those rare reverse hollows. And a Cresselia. Non hollow rare. So, with that, Incineroar goes up 1 nothing in this GX box battle. 
So good job, Incineroar. On taking round two, going up one nothing. All right. Next up, X Y Evolutions. So here we go. Last set in the X Y series. This is the reprint of the original base set. So a lot of lot of classic vintage artwork that you'll be seeing in this set right here. Let's see if we can pull let's see if we can pull a Charizard. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, there's a Charmander, so no. To get your char to get your Charizard, you gotta start Charmander. So that's alright. Alright, reverse hall super potion. Definitely like the foil. Foil's pretty awesome for the reverse foils. And a far fetched for our first rare card for evolutions. Can't get a good shot of him because Gamma's being a little bit dumb. There we go. There's Farfetch right there. And, oh yeah! This set also has the secret rares that aren't so secret. Because they actually take the place of uncommons. Show you what I mean if I happen to get one. All right, here we go. Next, Evolution's pack. Hey, it's Grass Energy. Of course, all energies, all base, all the sort of basic energies are commons in this set. Then, of course, King Sun and Moon. And then every pack had a basic energy. Reverse Hall Full Heal. And a Dug Trio. Non Hollow Rare. Dug Trio, as usual, looking pretty angry in its artwork. Well, I wonder if anybody knows why Dug Trio. And its artwork is always so angry. And it's just like the regular Duck Trio, the Alolan. The Alolan Duck Trio seems to be a little bit more happier than the regular Duck Trio. Why, why a regular Duck Trio always so angry in their uh, artworks? I wonder if they're just naturally like an angry sort of Pokemon. Hey, hey, oh, there's a Charmeleon! Moving up! Getting closer to a Charizard. Versus all Doduo. And a Radicate. Non hollow rare. So far, not too, too, not much of anything out of evolutions. We still got a few, still have a few packs left. All right. Hey, there's the Vulpix. One of the infamous commons in the. Original base set, always having to be misprinted with the 50 HP saying HP 50. It's kind of a neat little misprint there. Reverse Hall Diglett. And, ooh, another Radicate. So we got 
We got a pair of rare rats. All right, here we go, round three. So Incineroar is up, one nothing. Let's see if Ombreon. See if Ombreon can uh, tie things up here with a good evolutions pack. Do you have in your evolutions pack? Oh, let's go, Pikachu! Yes, this is this is the you know fatter Pikachu that used to be on the old artworks. Now I now Pikachu's I think are the uh, the skinnier ones that are all you see. Oh, there's a secret rare. So. There we go. Here is here comes Team Rocket. Originally released in the first Team Rocket set as both a non-hollow and hollow rare trainer card. And of course, keeping the classic effect, each player turns all of his or her prize cards face up, and the prize cards remain face up for the rest of the game. Keeping the classic effects. Reverse Hollow Switch. And another Dug Trio. Wow, two Dug Trios and two rats. Wow, getting care of everything so far in these evolutions packs. But hey, Umbreon. Got a secret rare, so that's a little something something. All right, Let's see if Incineroar can beat that with its evolutions pack. Evolutions pack have a code. See if you can pull one of the many Charizard cards that are in Evolutions. There is actually quite a few of them. You know, both regular Charizard and the Charizard EXs. Oh, there's a lightning energy. Can send or strike lightning in this pack. Ooh, reverse hollow electrodes. There we go. That's a rare reverse hollow. Double rare pack. That's what I like to see. And a B drill. Non hollow rare. Alright, so, man, you want to hard to tell who won round three. It's hard to tell, because, I mean, I got the secret rare, but, Cinero got the rare reverse hollow. I don't know, you know what, I, I think I'm going to have to give it to Umbreon. Pretty close, pretty close to be able, but I think we're gonna give it to Ombreon because it pulled the secret rare. So it's one one now after three rounds. Now it's time to go into the Sun and Moon series with the Sun and Moon base sets. Alright. Yes, now I have to remember it's a different card trick. 
go one, two, three, four. Because the basic energy card that you get in each Sun and Moon series pack. So here we go. Diving into the Sun and Moon series. Oh, we get grass energy for our dirt tricks. Power him up. First verse hollow is a psychic Psyduck. Not psychic, Psyduck. And a decidueye. Well that that was kinda neat. Wow, look at that. We actually pulled a decidueye and a decidueye pack. So that 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 I guess is kinda cool. But I wasn't in Decidueye GX though. That would be even better. Oh wait, no, 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 wait, what am I doing? No, Sun and Moon Beset Pile, right there. What is that? Sins Fox of Greed 10. Yo, welcome to the stream, buddy. Hopefully you're enjoying the opening. Uh yes, I do. I do give away some of the codes. I don't give away. I don't give away all of them. I don't play the online game though, unfortunately. I don't play the game in general. I just I just collect the cards. So I keep most of the cards, but I do give some of them away. So yeah, don't worry. There'll be there'll be a couple more codes I will give away later in the stream, so if you want some codes, stay tuned. There we go, we got a reverse hollow drowsy. And an incineroar. Hey, we got we got an incineroar. So, you know. Incineroar can say hi to its buddies. Hey, I'm the non GX version of you. <laughs> yes, incineroar non hollow rare. I wonder if I get all three Sun and Moon starters. We got Decidueye, we got Incineroar, which actually, funny enough, we actually pulled that from an Incineroar pack. Now, let's pull a Primarina from a Primarina pack. What are the odds of that? That would be pretty pretty epic and pretty crazy if we somehow did that oh there's there's the cute little little pup lightning energy we strike lightning in this pack oh reverse hollow litten so we got the reverse hollow and the cosmos hollow litten and ooh, nice! We got a hollow rare Arcanine. Awesome. So there we go. T took a few packs, but we finally got a foil card out out of here. Nice. He will take that. All right. Here we go. Last time we pack before we do round four of the GX box battle. All right. Here we go. There's our Wingo. Hey, Poplio, which eventually will evolve into. A Primarina. 
poison barb. It looks like a poison arrow, but I'll believe the card. Reverse Hollow Alolan Meowth. So we got the Alolan Cat. And, ooh, nice! Another foil card. A Hollow Rare Serena. Awesome, so there we go, back-to-back -back packs with foil cards. Actually, I'm not sure if I actually pulled this Serena yet from a Sun and Moon base set pack. I don't think I have. So that is, that's pretty cool. Alright. Alright, here we go. Round four. It's tied 1-1 one, one in this GX box battle, so. Let's see, it's in Roar is up this time. Jojo so what does I say? Jojo so Sool? For a second I thought it was Jojo so cool. But no, it's Jojo so Sool with a follow. Thank you so much. Every little bit of support helps. Yo, how's it going, Jojo? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you like Pokemon cards and are a, a fan of Pokemon. Oh, those are bringing on. Getting closer to our Primarina. First held Target of the Maru. And a Stoutland. Non hollow rare. So Incineroar. Not not much of anything for Mid Sun Moon Pack. Oh, you had two binders full? And oh. Yeah, depending on how much more, you might need to get some more binders. Protect those cards. That's nice. I'm glad that you uh, collect the cards as well, like, like so many other people do. All right, here we go. Last Sun and Moon base set pack. Have a code. See if you can pull anything awesome out of there. So here we go. Let's see if Ombreon can pull ahead in the GX battle. Heading into the final rounds. See, ooh, it's got some metal energy. Oh, there's Lily. Not quite as valuable as the Lily from Ultra Prism, but still nice nonetheless. Verse Hollow Caterpie. And a Bruxish. Non hollow rare. So, well, well, both Incineroar and Aubryon. Not much in their Sun and Moon base set pack. So that round is a draw. So it is still 1-1. One, one. Heading into the final rounds. Alright, here we go, guys. Guardians Rising. Still have not pulled the secret rare yet from this set. So let's see if we can make it happen. Can we summon the energy in these packs to pull a secret rare? Here we go. Guardians Rising. This set is secret rare, double colorless energy, secret rare, Tapu Lele. 
Well, actually, just any Tapu Lele GX card is actually a really good hit. Even, I think, the regular Ultra Rare GX Tapu Lele is about a $20 card. So let's see if we can, uh, see if we can just get lucky. Ooh, there we go. A, a rare Reverse Hollow Blissey to start off. That's pretty cool. See, okay, we'll definitely take that Reverse Hollow. And a Lilligant for our first rare card. Alright. Yeah, liking that that rare reverse hollow. Let's see there. That's a nice one. And again, you, j you just gotta love the double rare packs. Double rare packs are always nice. Alright. Here we go, next pack here. Uh, if we can get some camera. Even, hey, there's a stuffle. Cute little stuffle. Right. Oh, metal energy. Oh, there's my choke. Choke. Reverse Hollow Victory Bell. That's another rare Reverse Hollow. That's what I'm talking about right there. And a Machamp Hollow Rare. Which actually kind of looks like it's dabbing, so... I don't know, let's do the Machoke dab. There we go, that's for our Machoke. The Machoke... The... Did I say Machoke dab? I meant to say Machamp dab. Sorry about that. That's the Machamp. Dab. So there we go, we pulled a Ma Pog Champ. Alright. There we go, alright, next pack here. Go. Oh, we got a, we got a Tenta Cool. Maybe we'll pull something cool out of here. Oh, there's another Stuffle. Cute little bear cub. A field blower to blow away your leaves. First of all, Rock Ruff. So we got the we got the cute, cute little puppy dog. It looks like. And, ooh, nice, a, a hollow rare drampa. Alright, there we go. Back to back packs with a foil card. Awesome. Hey, we'll take that. We'll take all the foil cards we can get. Awesome. Unfortunately, it wasn't another match champ, so. You know. Couldn't do the match champ dab again. Hey, maybe we'll get a much hop. If we get, we get the certain much hop, we'll do a much hop dab. First, we have to get him a chop first in order to do the dab. There's a whale worm. We get the big whale. 
Alright, ooh, got some darkness. A little bit mola? One of two Pokemon that is a that has a palindrome Pokemon name. Reverse all Turtonator. That's a rare, right? That's another rare reverse holo. Love rare reverse hollows. And oh another Drampa holo rare. Wow. Wow. We're we're kind of on a roll. We're kind of on a roll with these uh, Guardians of Eisen packs. That is three straight packs with a foil card in it. That is that is actually pretty that's a pretty good street group there. Even though they are just regular hollow rares, but still you're not guaranteed the hollow rare in each pack, so Definitely three straight packs with hall with uh, four cards in it. It's very good. All right, let's make it four in a row. Can we make it four in a row? We will see. Here we go, can we get four straight foil cards? Oh, that's not the right Machop though. We need the other Machop to do the dab. Oh, there's the Machoke. Reverse Hollow Alolan Vulpix. That by, that, by the way, looks so cute. Such a cute Pokemon. And can we get four in a row? No, we can't. Probo pass and in the streak. Directing us away from our little streak we had going. That's alright. That is alright. We'll just build up we'll just start another streak. Alright. We'll start up a no streak with this pack. Alright, here we go. Oh, there is a Beldum. Oh, we got another 10 cool. Can we get something cool out of this pack? Water energy for our stay hydrated bot that showed up for the first hour. Which is actually surprising. Stay hydrated bot's actually showing up for the first hour. Quite good now. So I'm happy it's you know not slacking on the first hour. Reverse all alone sand true and Nice! Wow, another hollow rare card. This time it is comfy. I have to say, this is. This Pokemon is pretty comfy. That, that, that is a pretty cute Pokemon. Very flowery. Very beautiful. I like it. Wow. So that is four hollow rares from Guardians Rising. Out of, I think, six packs so far. Yeah, six packs so far. That's really good. Wow. All right. And if we keep this up, we are we're bound to hit something good eventually. Can feel it. All right. Yeah, I have a 
feeling we're gonna hit something good eventually in one of these Guardians Rising packs. I mean, we've been getting a lot of full cards so far. Oh, is it Aqua Patch? It's a pretty good trainer card. Where's all Brooklet Hill? Looks pretty. That looks like a pretty nice place right there. Okay, see if we can get a good shot of it. Yeah, it looks like a giant, a really big swimming pool almost. And nice. All right, finally getting ultra rare from Guardians Rising. Here we go. We got Tapu Coco GX. Awesome. We will definitely take that. So yes, Tapu Coco, one of the Tapu uh, Island Spirit Pokemon. The other one, the other Tapu Pokemon in this set is of course the Tapu Lele, which is like the most valuable of the Tapu Pokemon. The other two that we have that are Burn Shadows are Tapu Fini and Tapu Bulu. Other two land spirits. Tapu Coco. Let's see what it does. It's got the Aero Trail ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, remove any number of lightning energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. If you do, switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon. It has Sky High Claws for 130 damage, no effects. And then it's GX move, Tapu Thunder. This attack does 50 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. So yeah, 50 damage for each one, that could potentially do a lot. But awesome. Finally get got an ultra rare from Guardians Rising. Uncle Evie Gaming with the follow. Thank you so much. Every little bit of support helps. Um does anyone talk in this chat? Um, yeah, you're talking in the chat. So, you are... Yeah, you're someone that's talking in the chat. <laughs> Yo, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you are... Hopefully, you're enjoying all the cool cards of Poland. And are also doing doing well. Oop. Hold on. Let's put Brooklyn Hill in the pile. So yes, yeah, so hopefully you're doing well, Uncle Evie. Thank you for tuning in to some awesome Pokemon cards. So I pulled quite a few good ones so far. Ooh, reverse hollow tentacle. He will pull something really cool. And oh, never mind. We tried. We have a whiskash. Non hollow rare. Yes! I am actually very excited. For the new set to be released uh, next weekend, actually. I believe it's May 3rd that Unbroken Bonds uh, gets released out to the public. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, that's the set with the Regiram and Charizard GX tag team. So, who knows? how much that card is going to be worth secret rare once uh 
once uh, the set gets released. But yes, I am very excited. I do plan on doing a massive opening uh, in the near future once the uh, set gets released and I uh, uh, get the, uh, the stuff for the massive opening. But yes, I, I'm very, very excited for the for the new set. All right, here we go. Final round of the GX Box Battle. Currently tied 1-1. So here we go. Obion and Cinero each have two packs. To try to take down this final round here. So let's see. Ambion will be up first. It's first pack has something cool in it already because it has a tent cool. All right, oh, well, there's Sable Eye, Multi Switch, oh, Rose Hall Enhanced Hammer, bring the hammer down, and nice, all right. Wow, so many foil cards of Guardians Rising. We have a Hollow Rare Politoed. Politoed, of course, the alternate evolution for Poliwhirl. Wow. Another foil card from Guardians Rising. That's, that is... Man, these Guardians Rising packs are, are nice. You're being nice to us tonight. Alright. Here we go. Ambion's second pack. Let's see what else it's got. Alright, here we go. Ambreon's second Guardians Rising pack. Oh, got an alone Geodude. Can we strike lightning again? Hey, Mallow's here to join the party. And Hala is here to join the party as well. It's a reverse Hall of Hala. And nice! Wow! Another ultra rare card. Man, so many foil cards for Guardians Rising. This is awesome. And actually, funny enough, an Umbreon had another fellow Evolution in its pack. Which is kind of neat. So yeah, there it is. There's Sylveon GX. It's actually the most recent evolution. So we'll see what Sylveon does. It's got magical ribbon. Search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. Pretty good, like three cards, just any three cards. That's pretty good. It's got fairy winds, does 110 damage, no effects. And then GX move, plea. Put two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and all cards attached to them into your opponent's hand. Not bad. Sylvie on GX. Actually, no, I'm looking at this. It's actually a little off cut. It's actually off cut towards this left side right here. But that's all right. That is another foil card. Man, so many foil cards. All right. Now it's Incineroar's turn for its two packs. It's got to be a Hollow Rare and a regular Ultra GX from Ombreon. 
Pretty tall task, if you might say. But then again, it just takes one good pack for Incineroar to potentially steal the win. Alright, here we go. Incineroar's first pack. Oh, there's a matchup. The matchup dab, everybody. Yeah, gotta do a dab when you get a dabbing Pokemon. Reverse Hollow Multi Switch. And an Oricorio non hollow rare. So, yeah, not a good start for Incineroar. It's gonna need a big pack. Whoops. Alright guys, here we go. The very last pack of the opening. Let's see if Incineroar can get a big hit. Oh, there's the last pack here. Alright, here we go. Last Guardians Rising pack. Have a code, everybody. See if you can pull something awesome out of there, like Tapu Lele, Double Colorless Energy, one of those really good hits from this set. Alright, here we go. Last pack. Go, we got a Nose Pass, Halo. Rockruff. Give me the Slowpoke. Fairy Energy. Altar of the Moon. Choke. Vice Score. Last Reverse Hollow is a Trubbish. And another Oricorio. This time of the Lightning type variety. And also a non hollow bear. So, yes, that means Ombreon wins the GX Box battle 2 to 1 over Incineroar. So, congratulations, Ombreon. All right. Wow. A lot of foil cards. So let's let's do the recap here. So we'll start with start with Steam Siege. So for Steam Siege Reverse Hollows, Greedy Dice, Bravery, Fungus, Armado, Dino, Monferno, One Hollow Rare with Xerneas. Oops. And our one ultra rare, the Magirna EX. Alright, next up is Breakthrough. Can I go through these quickly? We have, for reverse halls, we have Chespin, Fisherman, Teddy Ursa, Pinsir, Wabba Wabba and a Mr. Mime. For Hollow Rares, we have Melawatta and two Gengars. And for our Ultra Rare Full Art, the only one we got this opening, we have Mega Hound Doom. Alright. Evolutions. For reverse halls, we had Switch, Ziglet, Dodoro, Full Heal, Super Potion, and Electrode. And for our one Secret Rare, 
We had Here Comes Team Rocket. All right, now on to Sun and Moon Beast set. For reverse holes, we have Litson, Drowsy, Psyduck, Alolan Cat, Totemaru, and Caterpie. Caterpie or Caterpie. And for all of ours, we had Serena and Arc Arcanine. Come on, camera, focus in. Here we go. All right. And lastly, but certainly not least, Guardians Rising. Man, did we get a lot of foil cards out of Guardians Rising tonight. Guardians Rising was good to us. All right, here we go. Reverse foils. We had Victory Bell. Lissy, Rockruff, Turtonator, Lone Vulpix, Lone Saint True, Blocklet Hill, Tentacool, The Hammer, Hella, Multi Switch, and Trubbish. For our Hollow Rares, we have Politoed, Comfy, Two Drampas. And a Machamp was the last one, yeah. And for our regular Ultra Rares, we had Sylveon and Tapu Coco. Alright. So yes, as Uncle Evie mentioned, Next weekend is when Unbroken Bonds gets released. I believe it's May the 3rd that, this, that the new set gets released. So look forward to a future massive opening of that set on this channel. And also next weekend is my birthday weekend. Because the day... Literally the day after Unbroken Mons gets released is actually my birthday. So I am planning to do uh, some sort of a uh, birthday stream on uh, that weekend at some point. And I do have something in mind that I'm going to, uh, to, to do. Let's just say it's going to be very, very interesting and could be quite hilarious. So, yes, you got that to look forward to next weekend as well. So, yes, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you once again to JoJo and Uncle Evie for the follows. Every little bit of support helps, and I thank you so much for it. So yes, that is the end of the stream. So thank you everybody for watching. Until next time, everybody. Have a good night. Take care. And I will see you guys next time.